the world is waking up to a new sort of way of thinking about sustainability, uh, about how we leave nature that we're in every day. How do we leave that? How do we make that a little bit better for the next generation and for today for that matter as well? That is why it's really important to rethink for companies and question the way that they've always done it because it might not be the same anymore and maybe there are tools right now that can be utilized that can really deliver that promise. Binder jetting will have the advantages that we can do this fast efficient, sustainable and make volume production. It also gives us the opportunity to create new solutions that use less resources and that's really what we need to protect our beautiful environment. Digital Metal is, uh, is a pioneer in binder jetting. It's one of the first companies to, uh, to use this technology, to try it, to test it and to commercialize it. There are only a few companies in the world that actually do this kind of uh, technology today and Digital Metal is one of the absolute first ones. And I think that has provided the foundation for what Digital Metal is today. A really experienced company in this field with a long history in such a short uh, new technology. So our mission is to advance technology um, and provide solutions to customers that probably they didn't have before, they didn't know existed. So the benefits of the digital metal process is the precision that you can achieve in the parts by controlling all the different parts of the whole manufacturing process, the repeatability which is so key uh, if you want to industrialize anything. It's also very cost efficient. You can manufacture parts with a very, very small startup cost. In most conventional production processes you need to start with a tool and it can take eight weeks to receive a tool or more. So when you truly have a digital manufacturing, you start with a CAD file and you just send the CAD file to the printer and you can create the, the part from the digital format direct. In most conventional technologies, you're really making the design to make the part as cheap as possible to produce. But this has less impact in this process, so you can more design the part for the, for the function you want in the end. And a typical example is that in most processes it costs money to remove material, but in this process you actually save money when you're removing materials. You get a lighter part, you get a more functional part, and you also get a better utilization of your material. Designers start thinking about how to manufacture already when they design, which means there is a limitation in the way that you think about how your product should look, how it should feel, what it should actually do, because you're thinking about how it's manufactured. Now, if you manufacture in a completely different way, you reduce those limitations. That opens up a new way of thinking and a new way of creating products. And that in itself will open up different possibilities. Uh, digitalization, for instance, uh, provides completely new perspectives on manufacturing. Um, the freedom of design uh, that you get with 3D technologies. I'm a watch designer and manufacturer. And I've uh, uh, chosen Digital Metal as my specialist for the 3D printed parts. Digital Metal was able to offer more precision because they introduced a new the metal binder jetting technique, which offered me far more uh, detail, so it was a simple choice. As a watch producer, I can offer directly to my client uh, customization, for example, or creating shapes which are uh, not possible using other technologies. Uh, you can work with a technology which offers liberty of shape. So as a designer I'm very much focused on, uh, on the shapes and what is possible and I'm looking towards new technologies to actually make certain ideas possible. So that's, that's the reason to work with metal binder jetting uh, uh, with uh, digital metal. Azoth is focused on making parts to a blueprint for demanding applications. We are pursuing blueprint details in manufacturing facilities across North America. And to address these parts, you have to have a quality-centric manufacturing process. Most of the parts are typically uh, machined to a blueprint. So replacing this with 3D printing is quite a challenge. We decided to work with Digital Metal because they have a robust platform that's really leading in surface finish, in feature detail, and these 
capabilities have allowed Azot to utilize their technology in a high product mix, low volume environment with the quality needed in this industry. This quality driven process and Azos focus on making uh, blueprint detailed parts and manufacturing in the traditional sense has opened up the doors to many other end use customers spanning from the consumer goods industry to the automotive industry, medical industry, and many more. So if this technology is so amazing, you might ask yourself, why isn't everyone doing this? Well, to tell you the truth, it is quite a lot of highly skilled engineering that goes into this process. The process is quite complex in itself and you need to control all the parts of the process. And I think Digital Metal has mastered this, um, this technology now for a number of years. And I think that skill is something that's quite unique uh, in the market. Our systems are already installed around the world, uh, available today in three different continents. Our customer base is continuously growing. Our partnership with our customers is growing. We're building an ecosystem and we're honest and we actually help our customers achieve what they need to achieve. Digital Metal has a job to do. The job is to advance and push boundaries of manufacturing. New technologies are becoming available, smart technologies based on digitalization, based on design freedom. That is our job, to provide that to companies that manufacture products and make it more sustainable than we have done in the last 150 years.